Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video. Today guys, we're going to be looking at another team up deck, and of course this is going to be the brand new Latias and Latios Tag Team GX. We're going to look at the deck here today with Malamar, since it's really the only way to play it. Before we get into today's PDCGO video, of course guys, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to help me reach 4,000 subscribers. Also, a shout out to our sponsors over at Car Cavern TCG. If you guys need any more team up codes, if you guys need to get any Lost Thunder codes, or if you guys are just looking for some Jolteon codes, go order them over at Car Cavern TCG. Great base to bet them. I cannot talk today. And of course, you can use code LDF for a discount on your purchase. So definitely head over and do that. So, Latios, Latias, Tag Team GX, what's it all about? Well, I got some unfortunate news. This is no better than an Ultra Necrozma deck, which is probably the reason why I don't really think this archetype will work. I still want to look at it anyways, just to see how it'll do. But if you're going to play any dragon type Pokemon that goes with Malamar, Ultra Necrozma is the way to go. So Latios Latias is a 250 HP basic Pokemon with the attack Buster Purge, which for a water and three energies, which can all be psychic energies, you can do 240 damage, and then you have to discard three energies from this Pokemon. So really good attack, however, it's a lot of energy. But of course, we have Malamar to build it up. But the thing is, is this thing is no different than Ultra Necrozma, which is probably better since you don't give up three prizes. Because if you run into Gardevoir, Ninetales, or Gramble, you're kind of screwed because you just gave up three prizes, essentially. That's one of the reasons why I'm not a fan of this card. Is because it gives up so many prizes and alternate Crosma just does a better job. Alternate Crosma with three energies does more damage than Buster Purge, I think. So, yeah, you can kind of see why it's not the greatest compared to alternate Crosma, which is probably better than Latios and Latias tag team. Now, we are going to try and make this work. You do need a water and three energies, so of course, we are going to be playing. Uh, waters and Psychics in this deck. Malamar is kind of our way to build up our Latios and Latias. We need Psychic Recharge as a way to build him up. Or build her up, whatever. Latios is a boy, Latios, Latias, girl. Now, Latios, Latias does have the attack arrow unit for a Psychic Energy. Attach five basic energy cards from your discard pile to your Pokemon in any way you'd like. If this Pokemon has at least one Psychic, one extra Psychic Energy attached to it, or one en extra Energy, sorry, attached to it. In addition to this attack's cost, prevent all effects of attacks including damage done to it during your opponent's next turn. So arrow unit's decent. Um, you can get a lot of energy in play. Uh, one of the issues with this though is, you know, we're not focused on that. We have Malamar, but there could be like a possible deck that uses arrow unit as a way to build up attackers. Uh, because if you have two energies on it, this thing can't take damage next turn. So it's decent, but it does no damage, which is a huge negative to this attack. Now, there is a bunch for the partners we put in this deck. I think one of the main ones, apart from Malamar, is going to be Dawn Wings. Uh, I don't like Dawn Wings right now in Mali decks. Like I know it's important for this type of deck to keep putting you know thing on your bench and then bring it back up. The problem with using Dawn Wings though is, of course, is that it's weak to Dark, so Zoark GX will just eat you up. This deck probably just loses to Zoark Night Tails, to be honest with you. But we are going to use Dawn Wings for the ability Invasion, so that we can keep putting Latios on the bench and then you know putting the energy back onto it. I am going to be playing two copies of Jirachi in here, mainly for the support of having Stellar, which is a really good ability to have now, and it's actually just a really good Pokemon to start with. Uh, I'm going to be playing two other Psychic Attackers. We're going to be playing two copies of Giratina. Distortion Door is okay. I mean, Buster Purge doing 240 is great numbers. 204 damage is like perfect numbers to hit. Um, a lot of the time, it can one-shot Gardevoirs and whatnot. Uh, obviously, one-shot Zoark. Giratina lets us do the 250 cap, so if we ever need a one-shot, maybe a Sobaleo or something. Uh, I am playing one Deoxys also, just another nice non-GX attacker for this deck. And I'm going to be playing one Marshadow here for Let Loose, and then just one Tapu Lele. Uh, for any other attack cards that this deck can utilize, obviously, you can play Gengar, Mimikyu, Tag Team for that GX attack Horror House, which could be a nice way to go about it. Now, actually, since you're using water energies, there could be some water attackers you can use in case you run into Blacephalon. So, there are some options. You can play, um, uh, where is it? There's a Lapras in here. Uh, but there are some water type techs you can actually run if you really wanted to. Yeah, this Lapras. You can play this one from Dragon Majesty with the attack Hydro Pump. If you put one water energy on it, it does 80. Um, you can play this one. You can combo it with Giratina to hit better numbers. So, you can actually play some water type tech attackers. 
in your deck if you want, since you are playing water energy, so that's a cool thing. If you want, you can play unit energy too, and then you can try to find room for like a fire or a grass attacker if that interests you. So there are some cool options. Now we just go into the items, we'll skim through them real quick. One energy recycle system, just to put a water energy back into our hand. I am going to be going for treasure, for ultra ball, and just one copy of nest ball. I got one switch to be able to switch out Domi's. Might be better to find room for a second switch. I am going to be playing two copies of Viridian Forest. Great card now with Malamar, like dragon archetypes like Necrozma here and uh, Latios Latias here. Also, because you can use Viridian Forest to get a basic water energy. So, really good. Now, onto the supporters. Uh, just three Lilies, three uh, Erika's, four Cynthia. Pretty heavy count of draw supporters. Uh, three Guzmas, four might be better because it's really good to Guzma with this card. And I am going to be running one Ace Rolla. Ace Rolla with tag teams is super important. If it's so close to getting knocked out and you're about to give up three prizes, you can Ace Rolla your Latios and Latias. Now, I'm not playing any other tools but four Skateboards. Skateboard is really good with Dawn Wings. Gives it one retreat cost. It's really good with Latios and Latias also because you can use a skateboard attack and this thing will have a free retreat cost thanks to a skateboard and you can just go into like Jirachi or something and then refuel this guy back up. Use Jirachi's ability. So yeah, four skateboards is the way to go. We don't need choice ban in this deck. It's not needed. And eight psychic energy and three basic waters is the energy count that I've gone with. This is my Latios Latias list with Malamar. We're gonna go try Darren PC Joe and uh, see if this deck has some potential since it is the logical way to play this card. Alright guys, let's go get some games with the Latios, Latias, Mali deck. See how the deck does here. See if it, I mean, I'll be curious to see if it plays like Ultra Necrozma or if it plays better. Just because it's basically the same deck, if you think about it. It's literally like the exact same deck. Uh, which is kind of why I'm not a fan of Latios, Latias. I just feel like Ultra Necrozma is a lot better. We'll see what we can do. We do start Donlings and NK. I mean, it's probably better to start with NK because we do have the escape boards in our hand. I don't know. I might, might regret that. We are up against a fighting lightning deck, so we'll have to see what kind of deck this is. It's probably going to be a Pikachu Zekrom deck. I think it's fine to start with NK. We'll probably Invasion anyways. Oh, he's playing Giratina. Hey, nice top deck. So... I think we Ultra Ball here for another Ink. We'll get rid of Skateboard and Psychic Energy. Get another Ink. Let's just see what we prize. So we do have three Waters in the deck, which is good. All right. He might be playing... Uh, we'll, we'll attach Skateboard here, I think. And we'll Invasion. He's probably playing Marshadow with Gengar Mimikyu, maybe. We got a Viridian Forest. I don't want to play that, though. I mean, I do want to play it, but I don't want to give him the Viridian Forest, but you know what? Screw it. We're going to get a Water Energy on our guy now. I'm going to get rid of the Energy. We'll get Water. I think it's good. We'll Marsh Shadow him too, I guess? I don't really mind not doing that. Do I? I, I guess I got to play the NK down. It's fine, though. We'll put our hands to four, see what we get. Ugh. Actually, that was not great. We just got a bunch of Energy. Not good. I'm actually going to keep the hand in case I can draw a treasure or something so I can get Lele going. We'll just pass. Decent turn one, I guess. We got a few good NKs going. Not a great Marsh Shadow, though. And he's playing Shrine. That's amazing. He's playing Spread Malamar. Well, at least we got use out of Viridian Forest. I don't know why he didn't play Viridian Forest, too. He's actually going to get Marsh Shadow here with this treasure. No, he's actually going to play it. That's good. Get rid of this weird hand we had. Okay, that's a little bit better. A little bit better. We can actually do Guzma here. And knock out something on the bench. And he got a Lily off that Mars Shadow, bruh. We gotta deal with, um... Gotta deal with Sprite again, which is not fun. Not fun at all. Ooh, we lost a Switch. See what we can do. What do we draw? Ooh, nice. Okay, we might as well play that. We'll treasure. Probably get rid of energy recycle system. Get a Maui. What 
where do we attach? I don't think we're going to attack him this turn. I mean, we'll do this first. Okay, that's fine. We'll uh, probably get rid of a Jirachi. Get Malamar. Got another Erika for next turn, maybe. That could be good. We're going to take some Shrine damage, though, which is not good. I think we just use this time to build up the Latios Latias. It really does suck that we have to put a lot of energy on it. If it was this alternate crossman, we would have knocked out the Giratina by now. So this is unfortunate. We gotta put so much energy on this guy. See what happens. Not a fan of playing that much energy, but whatever. I'm also not a fan of playing against Spread Malamar. That is also not fun to play against because we have to deal with Pomo Lele. So he's gonna treasure away Giratina for another Malamar. We'll probably, we'll probably Guzma here and knock out, probably knock out maybe the Coco? Could knock out a Malamar though, but he does have, yeah, he already has three NKs down. Maybe we just deal with that Tapu Coco. Maybe we just knock out the active? I don't know. What do we draw? Another treasure. I mean, that's a lot of treasures. I might actually hold that. We might need to ace roll this guy here. Yeah, you know what? I think we'll we'll knock out the Coco. I like I like knocking out Malamar too, but he already has two in play. I don't think there's a point. This is one of the problems with this matchup. It's all the damage. All the damage we gotta commit just for one prize. We gotta do 204 damage to a flying flip Tapu Coco. That is not very not very efficient. Let's see what our prize is. Ooh, Giratina. So we can get rid of that and we can get access to Distortion Door. Let's see if he attacks me here. He's gonna play down another Coco. Oh, I just realized this guy is vivid. Oh my god, this guy has vivid Victini sleeves. I did not. That just clicked with me. Alright, so just a pass. We really need to get rid of the shrine. That would be amazing. So, I mean, we don't really need to waste roll up right now. I think maybe I just get, like, another attacker, like a Giratina. I think we just gotta attack with... We can just attack with Deoxys. I think Deoxys is a better attacker here. Gets more damage going. We'll have to retreat, which is fine. We could also use Dark Flash, but it's better just to attack with Deoxys think if Deoxys goes down so be it we don't play stretcher in this deck I will right, do this first I'm looking for another skateboard nice this is good we can keep the energy on we'll just power blast knock him out next turn we'll probably Guzma the Ladia the Coco up again and just knock it out power blast see what our prize is we got another Cynthia that's always good got a lot of use out of Erica's this match which I like it's going to be a tough match to win, though, with Spread, dude. we got to deal with that promo Lele, which literally will give him the win. Because we have, like, so much low HP Pokemon on our bench. Triple Malamar. He only has one energy in the discard, though. So my opponent, I don't know if they're really getting much. And they got the baller sleeves. They're blinging out. But do they have much? They're going to stretch here. Probably for Marshadow, because my hand is so big. Yep, that's fine. I mean, we are going to lose his hand, and it was actually a pretty strong hand, but it's fine. We'll get a new hand here. We still have a lot of supporters we can play, so it's fine. Yeah, we got two Cynthia's. We're good. We got another energy. We can knock out Coco. My opponent's probably looking for a supporter and an energy. They're going to Acrobike. Oh, they got rid of an energy. Rip. That means they're going to attack with Giratina here. So they probably will KO my poor Deoxys. We'll have to bring out Dawnwings here. Really need to find that other Viridian Forest, though, to get rid of this pesky Shrine of Punishments, because it is putting way too much damage on board. Putting way too much damage on board. Yeah, he got a Lily off that rip. See what he does damage to. Probably Malamar. 
No, Marshadow. Okay, that's fine. So maybe we could Giratina this. Speaking of which, we're probably gonna have to tackle Giratina here. Oh, man. Giratina's so anti this deck, though, because it literally puts 40 damage on the board for... for that Tapu Lele promo, which is annoying as all heck. Maybe I just knock him out with Latios and Latias. Yeah, I think it's fine. Will Cynthia first see what we can get here? Ooh, there we go. We got the Viridian Forest. Get out of here, Shine. He's probably going to bump that, though. So We're only going to get one turn probably out of this. It's fine, though. Any turns are good for me. Is there a point of doing Distortion Door? So we can try and knock out Marshadow, but I don't think I'll ever get to that point. I think we just build up Latios and Latias, take the Giratina out, and hope for the best. We'll see if this Viridian gets bumped. I hope Viridian does not get bumped by Shrine. I don't know how many Shrines my opponent's playing. But because we have Ace Roller, we'll be able to Ace Roller next turn, which is probably what I'm going to do. We'll just Buster Purge knock him out. Latios, Latias will have 180 HP. It'll probably survive a hit here. I don't think he'll have anything. He might drop like a Necrozma on me. He could Black Ray me maybe. He could knock out Domlings. He does a Black Ray and a Shrine. We'll see. We got another Mally out the prizes, which is good. We'll be able to Ace Roll on my Latios, Latias. And we'll be able to just... I might have to attack with Giratina. I don't like it though because you yeah, there's Shrine Rip. These spread decks, man, are so annoying. It's not even funny. It's actually hitting my Malamars, okay. That's fine. So we survived the turn, Lace Rolla. We'll attack with our we might have to attack with our own Giratina. I guess I can attack with Domlings, but then it gets knocked out, so that's not a good idea. How many skateboards will we have left? I don't think he's gonna field blur. So we'll ace roll that skateboard. We'll still have two left if we do use Domlings. No, he's actually gonna Guzma me. He's actually gonna choose to knock out my Domlings. Okay, that's fine. We'd still do the ace roll of play. Does remove. We're actually going to get rid of a lot of GXs here, which is kind of the good thing about this. Drew a Cynthia. That's pretty good. We'll put an NK down. Actually, I don't know if that's a good idea. Yeah, but I don't think we need it. We'll Giratina. Distortion door. Just hit these two, I guess. So this is going to be a really nice turn where we're going to be able to just roll up. We can always save this for a rainy day, which is good. We can also use Marshadow for the escape board for retreat, which I might as well do. Man, I kind of want to play the NK down, but that's just more fuel for him. So I don't think it's a good idea. So we'll ace roll of this guy. We can always save Latios, Latias for a rainy day. We do have to hit something for 40, which I don't like doing... Maybe I just put 40 damage on an NK. Actually, it's a stupid idea, though. You know what I mean? That's just not very good. Mm, I guess... If you, you know what? Screw it. If we're going to have to put 40 on something, I think we have to play this down. In case a Malamar goes down, we'll hit... I think we'll just hit a Malamar. This kind of sucks. But we got all the GXs off the board, which is a good thing. We just need to take two prizes to win. There's the other Latios, Latias. So... That's one of our other attackers we have to work with right now, is Latios and Latias. I guess it didn't matter I put the damage. He can probably actually knock out a Malamar here with the... Uh, maybe I should just let it. Maybe I should just let him hit Marshadow. Maybe we can use Marshadow, though, to finish off his Marshadow. How many Guzmas are left? Still have, like, two, so... Our win condition could be on that Marshadow. We could literally win in the coming turns. If he knocks out Giratina, we can... Double Giratina, maybe win in one turn. Which, actually, yeah, I think we win next turn, potentially. Depending on what he does here, we might actually have game. If he knocks me out, I think we can win, thanks to double Ultra Ball, unless he judges me. If not, I think we can win the game, thanks to that Marshadow having, you know, the 50 damage on it. This might actually be a win, folks. This might be the win. He has to judge his hand away to prevent me from winning, I think. If he judges me, then 
I don't win. But what are the odds? What are the odds Malamar spread or whatever it is has access to Judge? I doubt it. They may not even knock me out. They might. They could. They could attach here because they triple Malamar. No, they're going to go for the knockout. And that is perfect. I think we win now. They're probably going to just hit a Malamar for 40. They obviously don't want to hit Coco and Marshadow. No, they're going to hit themselves for 40. Okay, so that's fine. They have two prizes too. Something interesting to know. Yeah, I think we have game here. As long as we can do double Giratina with Golden. We got a Guzma. So we'll Ultra Ball away these two. Yeah, we got the Giratina. So that is indeed game. Double Distortion Door is all we need. So it doesn't really matter what I get rid of there. This is sinking. Just getting over to the Malamar to Cynthia, but it does not matter. We're going to double Distortion Door. We're going to win the game here thanks to a Skateboard in our hand. We can also use Guzma. Or Retreat with the Water Energy. So we basically guarantee the win here. So it's all over for my opponent. Beating a matchup that I hate. I hate these spread decks because they're really annoying. Because you have to try and work around Tapu Lele promo. Which is always a humongous headache. But we were able to come out on top because you didn't even get to use it. And we got to use some Latios, Latias action. So I don't know, maybe maybe this deck has potential. Maybe, maybe Mali with Latios and Latias is like low-key the best deck in the format. No, I doubt it, but we're going to come in, Shadow Impact, win the game. Boom. 130 damage, and that's how you beat a matchup like that. That was a good game. Annoying deck, but a good game. And we were up against a player with some pretty rare expensive sleeves. Some sleeves that are worth like 3,000 packs. So I'll catch you guys in a minute with another match. Okay, we're going to do another game with the deck. And that game was good. A matchup that probably is a bit harder to deal with. Ace Rolla, though, I'm telling you. Ace Rolla with uh, tag teams is so powerful, which is nice. So we'll see. And what are we up against? All right. Potentially another Malamar deck, but it might also be a Lightning deck. We'll find out, I guess. So we're going to lose the coin flip. Let's see what we start with here. Jirachi? No, but we do get Lily, so that's perfect. Perfect. But yeah, I really do like the quad skateboard build here. Like, you don't, you, there's no other tool you need, you know what I mean? There's literally no tools you need in this deck outside of just quad skateboard. It's so much beneficial. So it is a lightning deck, okay. We'll see what kind of lightning deck it is. And we'll get to see if we get to really make use of Latios and Latias Prism Star. Or Prip. Well, we do have Latios, Latias Prism Stars, but, uh, Tag Team. Ugh, rip a deck card. Alright, so, ooh. This could be a Zapdos deck. That'll be interesting. Someone's gonna Venture Bag. Interesting card. That's another nice one of you can play with Jirachi because it gives you your skateboards. I might have to go into like a Giratina here because I don't want to lose Inke to Zapdos next turn. Alright, we'll see if this is going to be a Jolteon deck or a Shrine build or it's a Pikachu Zekrom deck. Or an Ampharos deck. There's a lot of different Lightning archetypes you could run into, I'm telling you, man. Lightning is popping right now. Alright, we'll see what kind of deck it's gonna be. It's gonna get a Nest Ball and a Lightning. So we do have to watch out. We're gonna get knocked out by Zapdos. So I probably want to go into Giratina here, which I might get with Mysterious Treasure just so I can go into a Giratina. I do want to go into a Giratina here. It's actually gonna retreat Jirachi. Okay, wish I had a Field Blower right now. That'd be great. Maybe Field Blower is like the high key, like best new tech card to play. Like a Field Blower right now would be like really good against my opponent. And are they going to pass? They already did their supporter. Probably see a pass. No, they're going to Ultra Ball. Getting rid of two Lightning Energies. Wow. For an Absol. What does this thing do? I cannot remember for the life of me. Your opponent's... Oh, rip, bro. Wow, that's annoying. Now we're not going to build a tree. We did get a Mars Shadow, which is nice. Okay, Absol actually screws my deck over so bad. That's really annoying. That's really, really annoying. That Absol is going to be a pain in my side. 
I have to do all this. Well, Lily. What the heck is this hand? Um, alright, well, that's great. We'll have to do Mars Shadow. Got a pretty awkward hand there. Let's see what we find. Now we got Dawn Wings, which is good. We got Guzma. I think we'll have to attach to Dawn Wings and pass. No, we already attached, right? Never mind, rip. Let me just pass the turn then. So we might not even get to use Laddie's Laddie ass. Might not even have room for it here. He might not get my Giratina though. I think it's the only good thing to go into. We force him to have to play the extra electric powers. That Absol though, oh my gosh, that is gonna be such a pain to deal with. Because that screws my deck over so hard. Now I wish I had access to Alter the Moon. All we have to work with is Guzma and our one switch. That's gonna be our best way to switch. That's not fun. That Absol is a serious pain, dude, really. I might have to get like multiple Malamars in play. honest with you. At this point, we probably have to go for multiple Malamars. Get like three going at once so we can just... Well, we'll need to attach the active a lot of the time. Now I'm really glad I'm playing Quad Escape Board. Just getting rid of a Coco and a Zapdos. I'm gonna get Jolteon. He might even attack me with Jolteon here, which will be kind of bad because he can target Inkays. That Absol, man, that, that thing is really, that's so annoying. That's so annoying. No, he's actually gonna hit my Dominance. Okay, let's see we draw. Druidioxus, good discard bait. We'll have to grab a Tapu Lele. So yeah, we're not gonna have much room here for Latios Latias at the very moment. And we do kind of need it for this Jolteon. But in order to kind of help us out, we're going to do this. We could do Erica for five. It's not really going to matter. It's the same amount of cards we'll draw with a Lily. Might as well just Cynthia. I guess I could have done Lily, but we'll Cynthia. Double Malamar would be great. We do have it. We'll treasure. Wait, you. I might, I might hold the hand, though. Yeah, we're not going to have enough cards to attack him here with Dawnwings, unfortunately. I think we'll just do this. I, well, no, I can, but then I'll be left with nothing, and we'll probably end up getting knocked out. So, I don't think that's a good idea. Hmm. I think we just hold the hand. We can do Dawnwings next turn and knock out the Absol, which I actually might want to do. So yeah, maybe I just hold the hand. I I don't want to get rid of these two cards. Lily and Guzma are really important. Guzma's really important here. So I can either knock out the Zapdos or knock out the Absol. I might just target that Absol. That Absol is going to be really, is I think, the biggest threat to our board right now. To be honest with you, I mean, this Jolteon is also a really big threat. But this Absol is too. Let's see what he got. We'll knock out Giratina here. He might just use Swift Run, which is probably perfect because then I actually have a good reason to do Guzma. So that's good. He probably will. He'll probably expect me to knock him out of Moon's Eclipse, I'm guessing. No, he's gonna head bolt. Rip. That's annoying us. And he would swift run me. So we'll bring out Malamar because we're just gonna goose my. We'll knock out that pesky pain in the butt Absol. And the only thing that's gonna prevent me from. Okay, we'll get rid of. Ultra Ball? And then we'll put Giratina back in. Not gonna get much Latios, Laddie Ass action here, folks. And it is good against Jolteon, but. We don't have a good enough hand even to like attack with it, I don't think. So a distortion door. Oh no, I should have saved that the, the Jolteon. Uh that's a rip. Doesn't really matter. Not really, I guess. Eh, that was a bit of a bit of a misplay on my end. I should have waited to play that. Yeah, I should have waited. My bad. I'm a bad player, Kappa. He might knock out Dawnwings here. 
Maybe I should attack with Giratina. Yeah, I should have attacked Giratina. Whatever. It is what it is. This matchup is just bad anyways because of this Absol, but we'll knock out the Absol. Can Moose Eclipse it? Yeah, let's Moose Eclipse it. Take our prize. Got a water. There we go. We can maybe go aggressive with Latios. Latias. Probably gonna get a Guzma though, off of this Jirachi. I know a switch, okay. Maybe, hopefully he doesn't have Guzma here. If he has Guzma, he can knock out something. He maybe knock out Giratina. He's gonna try and double for the Guzma, which if he doesn't get it, we're gonna get another prize. Oh my god, dude, come on. That's annoying. That's very, very, very annoying. He's actually bringing out Lele, which is pretty bad. I guess Lele, Domwings, Matt, doesn't really matter what he brought out. Rip. We're not gonna be able to Guzma him. Yeah, this matchup is pretty much a wrap, folks. I might just, I don't know what to do. Uh, we have the Lily, no Guzma. There's Latios, Latias. Hopefully it can turn the tables. I doubt it, though. So, do we just retreat into Giratina, force him to find another Electro Power? Probably better than losing Donwings. We'll save the Escape Board for next turn. Dang, if he didn't hit a Guzma there, we might have been okay. Wouldn't have lost two prizes. It's going to be a bit hard to win with two prizes. If he takes another prize here, this win probably won't be happening. He might... If he gets to knock out Zapdos, actually, that's worst case scenario. Because we're really looking to Buster Purge Jolteon here. That's what we're really looking to do. But we don't have a Guzma. We still have two in the deck. There's Mr. Mime. Okay. That's... Means we can't actually do Ace Rolla now, which actually disrupts me. So both Absol Mr. Mime are a pain in my side. Uh, yeah, maybe this deck just sucks. I don't know. I'd rather just use Alternate Crosma, man. I'd rather just play Alternate Crosma than this deck. And that's that's the problem with playing Latios and Latias is you just you would rather use Alternate Crosma than use this guy because this guy is just not very good. So yeah, that's uh, my problem with this with this deck is Latios Latias is just way worse. An alternate Krasma, because it'll give him three prizes. Oh no, he's gonna get Absol back, bruh. He's gonna get that Absol back. Dude, come on. I don't want to deal with that card again, man. Mm. It's gonna be hard to get energy in the discard to chain so we can retreat. But if he doesn't knock me out, we'll be good. This is gonna give us a turn to maybe kind of make a comeback. But then I guess Giratina gets knocked out down the road by an Electro Bullet. So there's a problem. I just don't want to deal with that Absol again, man. I don't want to deal with that. I really don't want to deal with Absol. Ah, he got the knockout. Dang it, dude. And this is probably going to be a wrap soon. Especially because Dawings is all he needs to do to win. No, don't get the Absol. Get that garbage out of here. Oh, he's going to shuffle. Thank the Lord. I don't want to. Thank you. Don't put that Absol back in your bench, please. He hasn't even done a supporter yet. I don't even... I can't even fathom this, bro. I don't want to deal with that. Please don't get an Absol off of this. I don't want to put up with that. Alright, just a head bolt. We probably lose. I don't know if we're going to win this, to be honest. I'll just skateboard the Mars Shadow. All he has to do is finish this off to win. Got a Nest Ball. We can burn that. Might as well just get another Ink. Let's see what we get off Cynthia. Okay, uh, I was actually really hoping for a Guzma there. Not going to lie. 
put a bunch of energy on Don once I think. So we'll knock out Jolteon. Which is good. We'll take our three prizes. Or two prizes, sorry. Don't know what I'm talking about. What? Yo, you don't tell me I can't game. Bruh. Come on, don't tell me you have game. My phone has game here. Rip. I don't know, we tried. I, I don't know, man. I don't know if I like Latios, Latias that much. Man, this is tough. Alright guys, that arrived that he's pieced your video. My opponent did end up winning the game there with a couple of Electro Powers. So, my opponent won. They just Guzman up my Dawn Wings, knocked it out, and won the game. But that'll wrap up the video. Uh, basically, just want to say, I do think that Alternate Crosma is probably better than playing Latios Laddy Ass. Like, it just doesn't make much of a difference. You might as well just play Alternate Crosma. It's a better, I think, attacker um, in general. I think Latios Laddy Ass is a cool idea, but the problem is, is obviously you have to deal with stuff like Gardevoir and Ninetales, which can also one-shot this and pretty much take like an easy three prizes. So I do think this card definitely is flawed. Um, it's a cool idea to play with Malamar for sure. Uh, I think it'll be an interesting archetype, but I don't think it'll work. I just, again, I think Alternate Crosma is just straight up the better version of Latios Laddy Ass, because it's essentially like the same kind of card in a way. So I'd rather just play Alternate Crosma over playing this guy. Unfortunately, Latios Laddy Ass with Malamar. I don't know if it works, but that rather these Peace Show video. Again, if you enjoy, make sure you like. Don't forget to subscribe down the road to reaching 4,000 subscribers. And again, shout out to Card Cavern TCG, our sponsor. And of course, leave a like if you enjoyed. I'm going to go watch this uh, Endgame TV Spot Super Bowl trailer now. Uh, yeah, so thanks for watching and peace out.